Vectrex overlays. In my opinion, they are pretty necessary for a good game experience. And in a couple of minutes, I show you how I reproduce these things. And I hope you can also benefit from it. Let's go. Okay, let's start off by designing some uh, overlays in, in uh, Photoshop or whatever you want to use and print them on foil. Make sure to increase the paint and print one regular and one mirrored. Okay, after they print it, um, give them a lot of time to dry because otherwise these foils will adhere to each other. You don't want that. Okay, now let's start painting these. Um, I use acrylics color and you have to paint the back of the top layer. Um, you have to paint directly on the paint or on the on the ink. So I mask the back of the front layer and I painted it with acrylics. Make sure to use um, some layers because otherwise the ink will smear a lot. That's not good. So you have to repeat that on um, every every side of the overlay. And once you're done, you can align the other foil above the um, painted one. Now let's uh, secure it a little bit on the left side and you're good to go. And this is where the fun begins. So now you have to weld all these foils together. I used a blank foil and I secured my painted and printed foils on top of it and secured it again so nothing can move so easily. Then you have to heat up a soldering iron. I use a gas uh, powered soldering iron with a knife attached which is pretty good to melt through all these layers and create a very um, bonding, very um, nice cut on each side. Just a few passes and then repeat it on the other sides of the overlay. It's very important not to stop in the middle of a, of a cut because it, it melts easily. And I had to use this gas power thing because a regular soaring iron was just too weak. Okay. If you're done, you can um, easily round the corners. I have four of them. And it will snug into the Vectrex. I hope so. Uh, there's some uh, debris on the side, on the top and the bottom, and also on the side. And I have to um, remove it with a sharp knife. And don't forget the notch. You have to, you have to apply um, quite a lot of strength to get it loose and I think it's done. Let's test it. Okay, this is my Vectrex and I can insert it easily. Top and bottom fits perfectly. Let's turn on Patriots. Wow, this is so much better with a <laughs> custom overlay. So in a nutshell, uh, it basically takes one hour to produce one overlay and I hope you enjoyed the video. Go create your own ones. Bye bye. And this is the um, <laughs> same game with no overlay, it sucks.